Hello, precious souls. Welcome to a twin flame journey. I'm Aura, and this is a podcast on twin flames. For more videos, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Another series has begun on this channel where a question will be randomly selected after submissions. And these submissions can be sent from any listeners, subscribers, and I will be posting the responses right here on this channel. Included in these submissions from viewers can be anywhere from anonymous letters to their twin flame, or even a specific question, and so much more. I'm humble and excited, looking forward to what is in store for this channel, as it has come a very long way. So thank you to all the listeners out there and subscribers. It is very much appreciated. For this week, I have chosen a specific letter someone wrote to their twin flame and wishes to be read on the channel. My dearest Matrix twin flame, I'm writing to you as it is my only means to communicate through this channel. I send you love, unconditional love from far away approximately 3,000 miles away. It has been eight long years in physical separation from you. One of our last interactions was the worst conversation we could have had with one another. I found myself angry with God, with divine, with spirit, for making me feel as if they had abandoned me. I felt as though my world was crashing as I watched two important people in my life transition into the spiritual world, and I was left behind. During those crucial moments that I will never forget, I would recall our interactions and our time with one another, but also how alive you made me feel. However, when we first met those eight years ago, my physical body was addicted to alcohol. The whole time it had this delusion that it was suppressing the pain I had been feeling prior to our physical meeting. I remember the feeling of every moment together. I only pretended as if I didn't remember or I was too hung over because I was afraid of what you would say. Our togetherness was one of the happiest moments of my life. One incredible memory stands out when we spent time together on my 25th birthday. Ah, it was such a memorable birthday indeed. Hours and hours of, well, you get the idea. Unfortunately, everything ended as you were transitioning from your military career and into civilian life. I felt as if I couldn't go with you to start again, but mostly that you didn't want me to. And Divine had a much bigger plan for the both of us. For many years, I held that against you. Hated you. Even after every time you would initiate contact. Fate had stepped in when I had moved two hours from you many years later. Then one evening while we were talking about you coming over... I finally heard the words that you should have said those eight years ago. I wanted to be with you when we were together. And then nothing from you. You were silent. You ran from me. 
Those were words that I intuitively knew deeply, but never heard from you directly. You then left and moved to a beach city 12 hours away. In the past year, we attempted to reunite with little success because it was almost as if both our internal fears would come to life. We were going to meet in the beach city you had moved to when I drove there for a visit during a long weekend that I had off from work. When I didn't hear back from you, After going for a swim at the beach, I had decided to leave early from my hotel where I was staying. It had felt like the last time you left when you were getting out of the military and moving back home. It felt as if I was abandoned, unappreciated, and as if all the things that I was intuitively feeling about you were not real. But it was real. Everything about it was real, and I'll never forget it. For all the words that were never said in the past, for all the time spent apart from each other, I want to simply say that I never forgot about you. I never forgot how much love we shared that summer we spent together eight years ago or how you think that I never cared or was quote unquote too drunk to remember anything. I remember it all. I'll always love you until we meet again. Love your spiritual twin flame. So This concludes this episode this week. I hope you enjoyed this letter from an anonymous twin. Until next time, I'm Aura, and this is A Twin Flame Journey.